Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a roll of Kodak T-Max 400 that I shot in my Canon Canonet QL17 G3. I've done another video about this combination and I shot another roll and it worked out just as well. I'm really happy with this um, little combo I've worked out. It's mainly because of the portability of this camera and the ease of its use. I, like I said before, I'm not a huge rangefinder guy. I really prefer my interchangeable lens SLRs. You know, the last video I made with the uh, Berger film, like having this back in my hands after taking a little bit of a break from it, I really loved it. I loved being able to switch lenses. I like the vintage lenses. I like the operation looking through the actual lens of an SLR, but sometimes portability and ease of use does matter. So there's two ways I carry this. Um, one is in the frame bag that I use on almost all my bikes. It fits in there usually with my tools and an extra layer, and it's perfect like that. And that's a Frost River bag. I'll put a link, I buy it at Dirty River Bike Shop in Akron, but I'll put a link to the both the, that shop and their website. Um, I've never sponsored. It's just something I really enjoy and I think it's a good piece of kit. So the other way is a chrome bag I bought in New York last year. And with that, I could fit this camera in there also with my GoPro and then usually with my keys and my wallet. So I have that on me. It's almost like taking the place of Jersey pockets would on uh, bike gear. So this roll of film is all film that I shot on different bike trips. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the photos. Right here, this is in Barberton. This is a restaurant I have passed a bunch of times and I've always thought the signage was really cool. I love the name the coffee pot. There's the sign on the building that's cool. There's the sign on, you know, hanging over the sidewalk that's cool. And then the Pepsi sign fading on the brick wall in the back. I just, you know, love that. And that's real small in the back is my Peugeot. Um, this is the painted window. I love this. I love these kind of little hand painted signs I always have. This open early sign, you know, which is really cool and the white really stands out and now has the, I guess, ironic effect of that nothing like this is open anymore. Uh, my Peugeot. So I shot this, um, these photos. I was actually making a video about the Peugeot. Uh, I think it's two or three videos ago. Again, I'll link it. But um, so the Peugeot is really photogenic for black and white film being a white bike. It just, it's cool to shoot it on these dark backgrounds where it really stands out. And this is the same day I was shooting. This is over in Park East and it's just a cool angle with the path winding in the background in the water. I was actually sitting here filming myself with the GoPro talking about the Peugeot and I looked across and the light was perfect. So I'm like, oh, pull out the film camera and take a shot of the bike while you're sitting here. This is a day me and Aaron and Ben went for a ride. Um, I'll zoom in here so you could see them. Aaron stands out, Ben's wearing all black, kind of in the shade on the other side of the creek. There's Aaron, closer shot of her, and then Ben across the river, hamming it up. But again, this is why I like to have this camera with me. We were just all out for a fun ride, and now that we're not really going in places, we're stopping in kind of unique places, and it's cool to just have this kind of camera with me. Uh, this is a day where I ran out to make a video about my Viscount. So I've been making a lot of bike videos. If you follow me, you've probably seen them. And same thing, I was making a video, but this camera's so small and convenient, I was able to have it with me. And I like the vintage bike with the, you know, vintage film, you know, it kind of has a cool look. Vintage saddle on that bike. My friend Mike uh, made this sword sculpture. This day I was actually there to make a video about my bike and I was taking photos of his sculpture for his portfolio. Uh, this was a fire over at Aaron's house. Something about fire on film, I just, black and white, it gives it a unique vibe. You know, you've seen a million campfire photos. Aaron grilled for us that night, like the little smoke coming off the grill and stuff like that. I, I think I named this fire and tire. Aaron was having a problem with her tire, so while she was grilling, me and uh, Ben, well, mostly Ben, were working on trying to figure out what had happened. Then also with my office chairs that I brought over to sit around the fire there. One more angle from across the fire. Um, I went downtown to shoot some photos for Akron Coffee Roasters and the sunlight was perfect on the buildings and there were some flowering trees. So I was using my digital camera to shoot some nice color photos for promo stuff for them. But again, had this camera with me and I'm like, there'll be some cool black and white shots. And I love how it says be well in the windows there. A couple angles of this, the light is just, yeah, beautiful that night, you know, perfect golden hour light. Same here, a tighter shot and that mural reflecting, you know, with the sunset. 
And I like the signs here with the bike and the pedestrian crossing. Same thing, just a cool, cool shot of Akron's brutalist architecture with the uh, Deco Huntington building in the background. This is a sign that I've passed for years and I've always just thought was so cool. This big M for a Midway Plaza. It's kind of iconic over here in Akron, I think. And the light just happened to be perfect. Um, the sun was just hitting that sign with the clouds in the background. There was threatening thunderstorms that day, but there were clouds obscuring the sun. And when that sign, you know, the clouds moved just long enough to pop out, I stopped pulled over, jumped off my bike as quick as I could and took a few snaps. And this was the, the vertical one was my favorite. And this tower I've passed, I've done photo essays on it and all kinds of photos of this, but those clouds were, you know, you couldn't miss a chance like that. This is Main Street in Akron right now. I pretty much just stopped to document this, having the camera on me because the street is entirely gone. Uh, the farmer's market in the morning, this flowering tree, just in the black and white, how it looks white in this shot. It's a pink, it's pink flowers actually but it had snowed that night, which is pretty crazy for May. Um, so there's snow sitting on it, some snow on the ground and the white tents. I just, I thought that'd make a really cool black and white photo. I'm happy I snapped that. I'm just documenting a moment in time, people with their face masks on. And then I do like that wrong way, do not enter sign in the front. So yeah, just another um, roll of film that I thought worked out really good. I thought I'd do a quick video to go through it and show some of the photos that I'm happy with. And just again, talk about how much I've been enjoying riding my bike and having a film camera on me that still gives me some manual control. You know, it's pretty easy just to leave this in sunlight on one five hundredth and let it select the aperture. That's how it, you know, it's aperture priority camera. So it's just really easy to use, you know, still manual focus, but I'm getting more and more used to the rangefinder style manual focus on this camera. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, I do have another bike video coming out later this week. Um, one of them in the series of uh, videos I've been doing about the different bikes I ride. So I will see you then.